When you take a roll of film out of its sealed wrapper, you're thinking about the pictures you'll take, the ones you've missed, the endless pleasure of the ones you have, or perhaps you've wondered how film is made. The familiar yellow paper serves to protect the actual film. It's feathered at the edge to roll tight against the sides of the spool and keep out the light. These numbers are the ones that indicate how many pictures you've taken. Photographic film has four main layers. First, a protective layer, then the picture sensitive layer or film emulsion. Third, a clear plastic supporting base. And finally, a bottom protective layer to keep out light reflections during exposure. Gelatin, made from animal hides, is the chief ingredient of the protective layers and the emulsion. But it's silver in the emulsion that makes film sensitive to light. To make the thick supporting layer or film base, selected cotton or wood fibers are chemically treated to form a material composed of cellulose esters. This is then fed into a machine to be chopped up prior to further processing. From a storage hopper, the esters drop into a continuous mixer where chemicals are added to produce a clear, thick syrup called dope. Really, film base in its liquid form. The liquid is filtered before going into a blender to be thoroughly mixed. Next, the film base passes through cooling pipes where it reaches a controlled temperature, then through a hopper to spread out evenly on a huge revolving wheel. Once around and it has become solid enough to be stripped off. Finally, the film base threads its way through a maze of rollers to dry and is wound up into rolls. This coating wheel is 18 feet high and more than five feet wide. It can produce miles of film base every day. But the wheel is small compared to the coating machine of which it's a part. This giant stands five stories high and is 75 feet long. At any given time, there may be a quarter of a mile of film base in the machine. A skilled crew operating a set of complex controls keeps it running smoothly, and the whole area must be kept hospital clean. Here, a technician checks one of the sealed chambers the film base passes through. In the chamber, the base dries gradually and evenly. At the wind-up end of the machine, a footage counter indicates it's time to start a new roll. Samples are quickly cut for testing in the quality control laboratories. Changing rolls during the continuous coating operation calls for real teamwork and precision. It usually takes 30 seconds. The full roll is swung off the machine. An identification record is attached as are plastic shields to protect the ends. The roll of film base is held in storage while the quality control department takes charge. Only when the test strips have been found to meet its rigid standards can a roll be used in further film manufacturing steps. The thickness of the film base is measured. 
It must be within one and a half ten thousandths of an inch of standard. A special light checks for scratches or abrasions. The farm supplies another raw material, purified gelatin, processed from selected animal hides. It is used in the outer protective layers and is also important in making the picture-sensitive emulsion. These sheets of gelatin are broken up in a hammer mill to ease handling. Meanwhile, chemists are compounding the variety of ingredients that are needed by the emulsion makers. Here, a solution is being stirred by a propeller whose speed is controlled to an exact number of revolutions per minute. Only a small part of the solution is needed in any one emulsion batch. This is a weak supply being measured out in batch quantities.